Yes. The, the, the recent PDUFA uh, Act uh, has many provisions in that that streamlines the, the approval process for uh, drugs, devices, and diagnostics. Um, and this is critically important to our industry uh, because that is one of the areas that poses the greatest uncertainty, especially with investors who put in most of the money that drives the science and the development of these types of products. There's a lot going on in Colorado uh, in this space with medical applications and uh, all kinds of small companies are emerging. They just don't have the financial bandwidth to go through that cumbersome process without it crushing their organization. Our industry has evolved over the past 20 years where some of these key technologies which uh, Senator Bennett was championing are really important to our continued success and also the efficiency of running our business in terms of developing these products and getting them approved. You have to look at where innovation really thrives and that's you know originally and initially out of the regulatory environment and then it maybe moves into the regulatory environment uh, as it meets certain criteria but I think to categorically lump medical applications into a regulatory process without more due diligence and more thought process behind it is very dangerous uh, and it will stifle and even crush uh, the innovation cycle here. Senator Bennett was, was instrumental in introducing a number of amendments to the PDUFA Act which were really important to our industry in getting new tech and advanced technology involved in the process of developing these products and getting the approvals. Um, and he played a key role in working with the sponsors of the bill and making that happen. It is, it is helping to define which of those companies should go through the regulatory process in which shouldn't necessarily have to go through that process. So he was, I, I believe it was in April of this year, uh, when he was testifying be, before a committee, made that point abundantly clear and from what I heard had fairly substantial support for it.